Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We have just defeated Antina. And that gives us quite a few things that we can do now. Um, I think the first thing I want to do, if I remember right, there are places that we can surf in the cave system. And I think I want to actually access that. There. If I can just whoop right up there. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, you can see there's some areas to surf to. And we'll go down here first, because there's this little area here. A nice deep blue surf. A nice deep blue color. We can surf on it. And instead of surfing on our own... Uh, we'll go ahead and grab that Dawnstone, which... Is something we really needed. And you might... Know that I've been hoping to get a Dawnstone... For a long time, because... That lets us evolve Jean of Gaunt, finally. And, of course, it's kind of annoying after every level up trying to spam B to prevent an evolution. But now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because we've got a Glade. And I've been wanting to use a Glade for a long time. Wants to learn the move Slash. I think we'll just let it, because it doesn't have any other... Um, physical moves at the, at the moment. And you can see that attack is now its highest stat. So we can get rid of Calm Mind. And Calm Mind does help with the... Uh, actually, let's just get rid of Life 2. Calm Mind does help with the special defense, though. And I do like that. Now, I wonder... Let me double check. We can teach it Drain... No, we cannot teach it Drain Punch. Wait... We can teach it Drain Punch. Let me see if that is the uh, fighting type move I want to teach it. Rock Smash is not that great. Mm. We'll go ahead and give it Brick Break. And we'll... For right now, we'll just get rid of Calm Mind. I, I did like the idea of, you know, a good special defense boost move, but Calm Mind's kind of a... not that great. But actually, I think I want to use a... Uh, escape rope. But now what we can do is fly. And there's quite a few things that we can do. Um, the first thing I think I want to do is actually fly to Floroma Town. Because there's some stuff here we can access. And I think I want to get more super repels. All right, we'll go ahead. Grab all those, yeah. All right, let's go ahead. Do some good stuff. So, basically, you see this little um, splash of water here. Uh, we can go ahead and surf on it. And there's, like, some items we can grab. There's like a whole section that we weren't able to get to before. And Thunderbolt is an amazing move. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. There, okay. Alright, we'll go ahead. Go on this side now. Um, and Thunderbolt, we're going to save that because I want to teach it to one of my Pokemon. But it's a, it's a move that I don't think that Pokemon can learn as of yet. We have to wait for it to evolve. 
that's a that leads back to the route but if you see here we end up at the fuego ironworks and before we do that you can actually go into the back side of the floroma meadow here and i think there are some items that you can grab I think a lot of items you can grab are actually hidden. You can click it. Yeah, so. Alright, jar of honey. Um. I mean, I can use it to the little beeper to find every specific item. But most of it, I think, is jars of honey, which aren't going to really help me, because I'm not really... I'm just spamming A, and I'm finding stuff. Yeah, hyper potions are nice. We're gonna surf up here. And I think up here that leads back to the route. Um so what we're going to actually do is go into the ironworks. And I think I want so I, I know Actually, get pickup out of there. Pickup goes to the back. Alright, so... Yeah, basically some things will just lead you in circles. You just gotta... Work your way through trying to find the correct pathing. Um, but yeah, we'll fight Worker Dylan... And Machop. And this will be a nice place to try out our new genre of art. Which, yeah, we'll go ahead and use Brick Break. Because that is our best option. Psychic is okay, but I'd rather have Zen Headbutt. Alright, we're gonna hit, but that's okay. Just brick break. Just brick break. And unfortunately, you know, uh, unfortunately, we're still going to need to wait till we can get Zen Hen, but I think we could go to a mover learner, maybe? But we'll do that at another time. Might actually do that off screen. But any, anyway, we'll go up here and grab this burn hill. A burn hill sitting in the Fuego Ironworks, of course. But yeah, there's a full hill over here hidden away. All right, and as you see, we went to that path. Instead, we'll hit this path. And as you can see, sometimes you can tell where they would lead to. Uh, that one arrow there will lead us back a little bit, so that's like a little backtrack arrow. And Steelix, this is our chance to try out Jean of Gaunt against Steel types. Um, before uh, Steel types would be super effective against Jean of Gaunt because um, it had the fairy typing, but it has replaced that with a fighting type, um, and that is. A great type combination. Psychic fighting. I love that. Alright, we knock out Steelix. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get some experience. Hopefully by the end. 
of all these little surf areas, all our Pokemon will probably be at level in their 40s. And we can actually go up here now. We'll grab a Firestone. I don't have anything to use it on, but... And you see that leads us back, so we'll go down here. And this is the tricky part. Because there's so many paths. But yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this battle real quick. Now that top one will lead us in this little section, which is a good spot to be. Um, and we're going to see Rapidash. Uh, some people watching this, they might have chosen, uh, decided to use Rapidash as their fire type. Um, it is a physical fire type, which is actually not a very common thing for you to find. Usually they're special attackers. Um, and in the case of Infernape, that's a mixed attacker. You can run special or physical, which is pretty cool. Alright. Grab this item. And use the D-pad to do that because using the stick could actually dentally send you to the wrong spot where you don't mean to. Mm, this way you can actually see where things will lead. And I think we want to go this way. Because up there kind of, yeah, lead you back. Um, and you can actually grab this. This is Flamethrower. We don't even need it because they have it where you can buy it in Veilstone now. Which is cool, but we'll go ahead. Hello. We get a nice Firestone, so we get a lot of goodies from here. What was that? That's pretty much it. Um, might be some hidden items on the floor that we skipped, but I'm not too worried about that. And I don't even know what wild Pokemon are out here. I would feel like there would be some sort of mostly fire steel types. And I just want to see. I just want to see what... Oh, Weasel. Floatzel, I mean, Floatzel. Um, I guess that makes sense because we're right next to a river, but Floatzel is a physical water type Pokemon. We don't really need a water type Pokemon. Anyway, now we've pretty much done that whole section. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.